Okay, so here we are. Carl says he wants some wisdom. Carl's the kind of guy that the wisdom he's seeking is something that no ordinary man seeks. So I had to think long and hard about this. So, Carl, why do these goddamn GoPro mounts keep breaking? I think it's because of the vibration on the road up through my carbon fiber frame that you say is softer than aluminum, which I disagree with. But, nonetheless, the vibration continues to break my GoPro mounts and send my camera flying down the road. Hopefully, uh, it won't happen again. So, figure that one out for me. But what I wanted to talk about today was the, uh, the gravel roads. I noticed that a lot of people today are more riding gravel than uh, pavement. Or at least it seems so in our area because it's just a wider range of area that you can travel on a gravel bike. And one of the things that I noticed that most people have mentioned that's frustrating to them is the fact that these uh, gravel roads this summer have been gated. Leading to the question of is it legal? And can I go around them? So I reached out to three different agencies and I found out it's legal, it's questionable. So what's happening, the legal piece of it is, you can, uh, you can commission the uh, county to close the county road if the road is deemed unsafe for vehicle traffic. So somehow these roads are being closed because it's unsafe for vehicles to drive on them. If you've ever been up roads like Pike Peak, Mormon Grade, some of the other ones, you go understand the damages on these roads that makes them unpassable. But what's funny is they've been like that forever. This isn't anything new. And the first people to take the blame, to take the hit on this, it's always going to be the four wheelers. They're coming up here, they're tearing up the roads. Like, I think they can accept their portion of the blame, but uh, it's really that's more to do with the crappy way the roads were engineered because they were engineered a very long time ago. And we know from trail manufacturing, trail building, that you want to build your road to go with the fall line of the mountain with about a five degree slope, which means when water hits the road, it runs off the road, it continues down the fall line. It doesn't hit the road and then go down the road and form a river channel, which is what's happening to these roads. And of course, every time a rut in the road gets dug out a little bit deeper, it just makes the problem worse. So, you know, you can attribute it to that. You can attribute it to people driving up these roads, partying, throwing beer cans on people's property, pissing off the homeowners. There's a lot of that. But these aren't new problems. These are things that have always existed. So, what you have is, it's like, I'm gonna explain the difference between the haves and the have-nots child's perspective. So at Fort Walla Walla Park, as some of you know, I've been trying to create a trail system and part of that trail system has been, uh, there's a natural area at Fort Walla Walla Park. And the natural area has been previously carved out for the for the bird watchers. And after several years of lobbying the city, I was able to get 
<coughs> permission to build the, the trail system as long as I stayed out of the natural area. But I can't help what other people want to do when they go ride. If somebody wants to ride to the natural area, they do. And on occasion, they get some quite intense conversations with people out on the natural area. Arguments, almost fights if you will. It's kind of funny because the city, you know, the city doesn't want to fight these bird people about bicycles in their area. So they graciously said, this is your trail, this is their trail, and we don't want to take up the fight. Please don't make us take up the fight because you'll lose if you do. So, the same thing kind of happens in these mountain roads where they've been gated off. The county obviously doesn't want to take up the battle. Somebody, or some group of somebodies, has pushed for closing these roads because they're impassable to traffic because of the danger of the rutting that's taken place. And they've agreed to do so because they don't want to fight them. So, what's interesting when I say from my child's perspective, my grandkids the other day were fighting over a spray can of sidewalk chalk. Well, what was funny about it is the can was empty. You got two kids fighting over an empty can that's destined for the garbage. But because one kid figured out the other kid wanted it, that made it fun. And that made them more emboldened to say, you can have it. So kind of what you're seeing with these trails in Fort Wall Park, these gravel roads and property owners, is you have people who are saying, adult people now are saying, I have it, you want it, and that makes it even more special because you can't have it. And that's really where we're at with the trail system and the uh, gravel roads. So, but what I did find out is the gravel roads are only closed because this was the question that was asked. They're only closed to vehicles. So if you want to ride on them, you can ride on them because it's still a county right away. If you want to hike on them, you can hike on them. So, but I would ask you to proceed with caution because there's nothing more intimidating than somebody who's bought 10 acres of mountain land who all of a sudden seems to think they own 400 acres of mountain land and more than willing to tell you you don't have any right to be on the road that goes past their property. So be aware of that because I promise you, you will encounter that. You will be told that you're trespassing and uh, whether or not you want to have that argument in the mountains that's completely up to you uh, but I would be wary that uh, that conversation is probably going to take place at some point if you're out there but anyway that's what I found out uh, when these roads are going to get fixed and the gates come down who the hell knows uh, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens with that so anyway so Carl, there's your, there's your logic. Find me a GoPro mount. Figure out a way to get these gravel roads open. And uh, we'll go from there.